Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear their death. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. So Uncas wanted to create a peaceful alliance with Esau, the so-called white man, but Sasakis really didn't want to deal with him that way. So that was a, a rift between those two. It says he breaks clan ties with the Pequots, assuming the ancient wolf clan named Mohegan. He forms his own tribe. And chooses to align with the English Uncas and his followers settled at Shantok. So Uncas uh, broke off from the Pequots, and the Pequots who left with him, they renamed themselves and called themselves Mohegan. And can I say something not to cut you off? Uh -huh. All these names go back to Hebrew, okay? Uncas, Pequot, those so-called Native American names, and for you idiots out there, you got you assholes out there that are still talking your shit about the so-called Native American tribes are not Israelites. First of all, if you have any common sense, you can see that the Native American tribes, you can see it clearly that we are the Israelites. You got assholes out there, y'all wanna denounce the Native American <coughs> tribes, yeah. the Puerto Ricans and the so-called Spanish-speaking tribes as being Israelites, but you wanna bring in some so-called nasty-sticking African Hamites yep. that's being Israelites. You guys are just reprobates. That's the scripture that says, but evil men shall wax worse, worse and worse, worse, deceiving and being deceived. That's you guys. And you know what about them niggas? They, they'll, they'll read the Apocrypha and they'll try to throw out a couple of scriptures in um, either in the 14th or the, or the 16th chapter of Ezra, right? <clears throat> but you niggas don't want to deal with the uh, 13th chapter of Ezra, where it, it, where it speaks about Israel coming across this way, where they came to the land of Arsareth where never mankind dwell at the hindermost part of, of the world. You don't want to deal with that. You don't even touch that. You don't deal with that. You don't touch that. Because that totally destroys your claim of them so-called nasty-ass Africans being Israelites. Now, could there be Israelites amongst them? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, there can be some Israelites amongst some of them stinking, nasty African tribes there in Africa. But the bulk of Israel... Judah, Benjamin, and Levi was sitting on the west coast. Sitting on the west coast of Africa. On the west coast, you got Nigeria. Um, you got uh, even the Congo is on the west coast. That's right. Okay. And the Congo's not in the interior. Right. The Congo's right there on the west coast. So it's Israelites that's there in the Congo. All along the Ivory Coast. The Ashanti, the Mandingo, the Igbos, the Nigerians. Those are Israelites, man. Those are Israelites as well as others that, that are along the Ivory Coast. So we ain't knocking that, we never knock that, and we never deny that. We never deny that, but you niggas wanna take 
some old funky ass dusty Africans are trying to say that they're Gannites. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah, with the shield and buckler. Yeah. You guys are bugged the fuck out. You got the Gannites. Well, you know what? Like a brother said earlier, if you guys want to indoctrinate these Africans as being, then go now. Won't y'all go over to Africa and 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 and, and preach to them? Yeah, go, go back to the motherland. Follow out the Marcus Garvey doctrine. All you assholes that say that, I'm not gonna mention your names and give you no shine. You know who you are. We are, you guys just want attention. That's all it is. Yeah, you're a bunch of little bitches. You guys are disgruntled little kids. Little hoes. You mad because you got kicked out of GMS or whatever, or you guys that hate on GMS because you're jealous. And y'all really just basically don't got the balls to do what we do. And the spirit of the Lord ain't with you, man. Okay, this is a spiritual thing. You guys get mad at us because we go out and we push this word out all throughout the world. Okay, and y'all don't have the spirit. The spirit ain't with you to do that. It's all a spiritual thing, man. This thing is spiritual. And you guys don't understand that, but you're going to understand it real soon. I got something real quick for you. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. All right, brother. It says... But the natural man receiveth not the things uh, of the spirit. Scripture. That's one of my favorite scriptures, man. The natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. That's right, because you guys, the things we bring out, this knowledge about the Native Americans being Israelites and the other tribes, everything we bring out, man, shit, the Cornelius issue, which that's an old issue, man. Some of you guys still can't see that because they're foolish unto you. That's why y'all make mockery of us and y'all talk shit because... The Lord ain't dealing with you. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah ain't dealing with you. That's right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah ain't dealing with you niggas. It says, it says, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. That's right. Meaning you gotta be a spiritual man in the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shah that is dealing with you to break it down and understand it. You guys, they can't get it because it ain't for you because you're not a part of the elect. Simple. I'm not, gonna give a, I'm not gonna give a big speech on that. That's the breakdown of the scripture. Okay? It says, but he that is spiritual judges all things. That's why the Spirit of the Lord is working with people like Elder Taha, Gabar, on down to break down these scriptures and be able to break it down and give it to the brothers in the congregation the right way. We go into everything, man. We go into the Greek, we go into the Hebrew. We teach these brothers and we feed you brothers everything, man. Okay, down to the health issue with the herbs. That's right, the spirit got us getting into the herbs. Got brothers going into the herbs and then going into being physicians to help heal other brothers along with the spirit of the Lord, man. Them guys, they can't tell you shit. Nah, they can't. They're just armchair quarterbacks like the elders are hard to say, man. Armchair quarterbacks. Sit in the background and talk shit on the comment board and be little demons, man. Make noise like little... Unruly, disgruntled kids, man. You're fucking women. That's it. You're, 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 you're little fucking women. That's what you are, bitches. Yeah. Well, exactly well, 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 women are children. Yeah. And all women are children, okay? All you women are children. You women have a childlike mentality. You were created that way. Why? Because it was meant for a man to rule over you. That's why this society is all out of order, okay? Yeah, yeah, this, place, this place is all out of whack. <clears throat> it says, um, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. That's right, so you guys can't judge us. You can talk shit about us, you can make fun of us, you can mock us, that's all right. Proverbs 122 got the answer to that. But you know what? You can't judge us. The Spirit of the Lord, in other words, the Lord ain't listening to y'all. Y'all can say that, and the most high don't get the, y'all can say that the Lord is really dealing with y'all and we ain't right. But you know what? The the the, the most high ain't listening to y'all because the Lord is really with us. So y'all don't have the power or the position or the authority or the jurisdiction to say anything about us. That's why what's going to happen, all you ones that are coming against the servants of the Lord, the Lord is going to deal with you in the end, man. He damn sure is. He damn sure is. It says, for who hath known the mind of the Lord, but he may instruct him. That's right. Nobody knows the mind of the Lord. But you know what? Us, the ones of us that's dealing with the, 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 the right breakdown of the scriptures, we somewhat have an idea of what the Lord thinks. We do us, the elect, which I pray I'm a part of that elect. Yep. Paul said, I'm confident in the hope that I might be saved. So I'm confident that I am one of the elect. I don't know for sure, but I'm confident. We have an idea. We do have somewhat of an idea of the mind of the Lord because he, he told us. 
yep. what he wanted us to know. Y'all don't. That's why y'all all bugged out and messed up. Right. Well, hey, like like he said, that's why y'all all bugged out and uh, and all messed up. Now, like Elder Rakai just said, he said we don't. He said we somewhat know. I'm, I'm I'm gonna read the scripture again. First Corinthians two and sixteen. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. And a lot of you guys, that's the main thing. Yahweh Shai. A lot of y'all stuck on that thing. You guys, you most high guys, as I coined that phrase. You got a lot of you guys out there. The most high and the most, like Lahab, that nigga that used to be around years ago that fell out. He was one of them. The, see, the most high showed me, and the most high, to the most high. And there's a lot of your highs the same way. Yep. A lot of you guys, the most high. And you got other guys out there too. The most high, see the most high, see the most high, man, the most high. And y'all, because you are not men of Yahweh Shah. Because if you were spiritual men of the Lord, you would know that you have to go through Yahweh Shah before you get to the most high. That's right. How come you guys don't mention, or if you do speak about the Son of the Lord, they'll say Christ. Christ. That's what you do. They refuse to say that name Yahweh Shah. Like it's really offensive to them to say that name. Because you're not right. You guys ain't right, man. I've told you brothers before, beware of them guys that always talk about the most high, the most high, and then if they're not saying the most high, they're the most high in Christ. If a guy says Christ and the most high, if he uses those terminologies all the time, that guy may not be right. Now, if you hear a brother say, yeah, yeah, how about you, how about you? Or you might say the most, we just, we, we, we'll say the most high, yeah. but we always, that name, the name, we push the vibration of that name. When you push that name out, it creates a powerful vibration. When you sick and you call shot. upon that name, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, that brings angels around you. It brings righteous forces around you, man. And, and, and the heavens open up and look down upon you and say, who's that? Because you're calling upon their name. The name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Sacred, holy, ancient name of the Creator and His Son. All right? Go ahead, brother. All right. Uh, I'm, that carries power. That's right. It's about power. Yep. So I finished that one. Now here's Proverbs 28 and 5. Okay. Um, this is the reason why you guys can't understand. It says, Evil men understandeth understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Yeah, that's it, buddy. That's it. So that's it right there. You evil men, you don't understand judgment. That's why you can't that's why you can't understand this. Because even the breakdown of the tribes is spiritual within itself. But you niggas can't get it. And, and basically, before 2007, when um, GMS uh, made made a, made our debut on um, YouTube, where the fuck was you other? Where the fuck was you niggas at? You know, you niggas that's always you write these these big vehement <laughs> fucking poems on, on the video. You put these big palatial comments on the board, but you guys you guys, uh, you guys don't do no videos. You don't show your face. You'll do a video and you show an elder around loud. Um, or, or even this brother Ricard, whoever, breaking down something, and then you start commenting and talking shit. You don't never show your face. You niggas don't show your face. You niggas are scared to show. Even 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 General Iguana shows his face. Yeah. Even, even Nate the Snake Roberts, he he shows his face. That's right. Even Bubba Live Blackass shows his face. Yeah. But you fucking niggas, you don't even show your face. But yet you steady talking shit. And where were you prior to 2007? And us coming on YouTube, where were you niggas? Because in actuality, Nate was on YouTube before we got on YouTube. That's right. And we used to go on his site. I want to admit that. And we, we, I, we admit, tell me right, it's all the time. You want because we're fucking men. We're real fucking men. We want to admit that. Now, let's say if the situation was the other way around. Right. Nate wouldn't admit that. He damn sure would. Let's say if we was on YouTube before Nate and he came on there, he would never admit that. He would try to make it like I was on YouTube first. But we, we give him the props. We give Nate his proper props. And you know what, there'll be times, certain videos that Nate puts out, Elder Tahar give him props. He'll say, yeah, I watched this one video of Nate, and Nate, it was a good video. Uh, there was a few videos that Nate did, Elder Tahar came out and said, hey, the, Nate did this one video, it was a, it was a, it was a good video. Yeah, he, was, he was getting down. The bar actually gave him props on the video. Elder Gabar gave him props, right? So, but you think Nate would do that to us? No. Because nope. them niggas ain't real men. A real man calls it straight no matter what. Uh
generations now. We have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear. They're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. In the sacred way! You said I die!